potato movie. <laughs> Pepper and George are going to see the super potato movie at the cinema. Super potatoes, get your super potatoes here. Ooh, could we get a super potato, please, Daddy? Is it made of plastic, Mr Fox? It's better than that. It's made of potato. Made of potato? Yes, it's a potato. Well, in that case, I'd have two, please. Would everyone please take their seats? The film is about to start. Ooh. Now, does anyone need to go to the toilet? No, no Mummy Pig. Pig. Good, then let's go in. This is the cinema where the film will be shown. Hello, Rebecca. I've got Super Potato. I've got Mrs Carrot. Help! Save me, Super Potato. <laughs> Super Potato, to the rescue. <laughs> Shush, Pepper. The film is about to start. Super Potato, the movie! Hooray! Far away. In the land of fruits and vegetables, there is a problem. Help! My foot is stuck. We need a rescue! Someone call for Super Potato! Super Potato! Super Potato! Did someone call my name? Hooray! By the power of vegetables, I am here. You're my hero. Hooray! Mommy, I need the toilet. OK, come on then. Sorry, excuse us. Miss Rabbit is in the projector room. Is this the toilet? No, Peppa, this is the projector. What's a projector? It's the machine that shows the film you're watching. See? Oh, yes! There's Super Potato! <laughs> I get to watch Super Potato six times a day. Wow! I wish I was a superhero. You are a superhero to us, Miss Rabbit. You do all the important jobs. Yes, I have just cleaned the toilets. You'll find them down the corridor on your left. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hurry up. Mrs Carrot's about to be rescued again. Someone call for Super Potato! Super Potato! Super Potato! Did someone say my name? I am on my way. Hooray! What's happening now? Mrs. Carrot got stuck in the mud. By the power of vegetables, I am here. You're my hero. Yay! I want to be a super potato when I grow up. Here comes the song bit. <laughs> Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the stage, Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am actually here! <laughs> Did you enjoy the movie, children? Yes. yes! Show us how you fly! How do I fly? Like this! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! Oh dear, Super Potato is stuck in the cinema roof. Help! Call for Super Potato! That is Super Potato! Quick, call for Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Did someone call my name? Help! Oh! I'm on my way! Yay! Help! Help! Miss Rabbit to the rescue! Help! Whoa! Miss Rabbit has rescued Super Potato! Wow! Oof! When I grow up, I want to be Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit, you are my hero! <laughs> Miss Rabbit is a superhero! <laughs> the playgroup! Peppa and George are going to the playgroup. It is George's first day. George, are you looking forward to the playgroup? <laughs> Daddy? Maybe George is too small to go to my playgroup. He'll be fine, Pepper. There'll be you and Mr. Dinosaur there to keep him company. 
Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> but I want to play with the big children. Not George in his toy dinosaur. Oh dear. Pepper doesn't want George to go to her playgroup. We're here. Daddy, are you sure George is big enough? He'll be fine. <coughs> All right. He can come. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle looks after the children at the playgroup. Hello. This is my little brother, George. <laughs> Hello, George. <laughs> I wish I had a little brother like George. Really? Hello, I'm Danny Dog. Is that a dinosaur? It's just a toy dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. Brilliant. <coughs> dinosaur. Grrr. Ah! <laughs> dinosaur. Grrr. Ah, really scary. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. George is my brother. <coughs> He's brilliant. Pepper is proud of her little brother, George. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we show George how we paint pictures? George is not very good at painting. Well, maybe you could help him. Yes, I'm very good. I will show him how to paint a flower. George, today I'm going to teach you how to paint a flower. First, you paint a big circle. No, George, that's the wrong colour. Now you paint the flower's petals. George, that's the wrong shape. Now you paint the stalk and the leaves. George, you have done it all wrong. Now, what do we have here? I've painted a flower. That's very good, Pepper. And George has painted a dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I think George and Pepper's pictures should go on the wall. <laughs> Peppa, you must be very proud of your little brother. Yes, I am. It is home time and the children's parents are here to pick them up. Can George come next time? Yes, and he can paint us another lovely picture. And what will you paint next time, George? I'm sure. Grrr. Oh, another dinosaur picture? Well, maybe you can show us all how to paint a dinosaur. Brilliant. Yes, brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> Musical instruments. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have been tidying the house. <laughs> Mummy Pig and I found this old box in the attic. <sighs> Ooh. Can anyone guess what's inside? Hmm. Nope. <laughs> it's full of musical instruments. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they are a bit old and dusty. <sighs> ah, chew. <laughs> <laughs> This is the violin I used to play when I was little. Mummy, can you play your violin? I haven't played it for a long time. Please, Mummy, please play it. <coughs> I hope I haven't forgotten how. Bravo! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, 
can I play the violin? Hold it like this. Yes, Bobby. <laughs> Oh. oh dear, I do not think it is meant to sound like that. <coughs> George wants to try. Hold it like this, George. <coughs> oh, that does not sound quite right either. The violin is too hard to play. Pepper, maybe you would do better with this tin drum. Thank you, Daddy. That sounds better. Pepper loves playing the drum. Oh, lovely! Yes, it sounds very nice. This is Daddy Pig's old accordion. I used to play this to Mummy Pig when we first met. Oh, Daddy Pig. I remember this tune. <laughs> <laughs> George wants to play the accordion too. Are you sure, George? The accordion is quite difficult. George, the accordion is almost as difficult to play as my drum. <laughs> OK, George. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Maybe George is a bit too little to play the accordion. Daddy, what other instruments are in the box? Just this horn. Can I try? You have to blow it very hard. <sighs> that does not sound right. It's impossible. I think I used to be able to play it. <sighs> that really does not sound right. <laughs> Maybe it just needs someone big and strong like me. <sighs> That does not sound right either. <sighs> Peppa's right. It is impossible to play. Never mind, Daddy Pig. Just stick to the accordion. <sniffs> you play it beautifully. <laughs> well, I do play it quite nicely, even if I say so myself. And I'll play my violin. And I will play my drum. Mummy Pig plays the violin. Daddy Pig plays the accordion. Pepper plays the drum. But what instrument will George play? <laughs> George is blowing the horn. Mummy couldn't play the horn. And Daddy couldn't play it. And even I couldn't play it. <laughs> but George can play it. <laughs> <laughs> the new car. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are going for a drive in their red car. Shall we have the roof down? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George love their car. Is everybody ready? Ready! Then let's go! I love our car. <laughs> and our car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, the car does not sound very well. Mm. What's wrong, Daddy? Mm. Uh, I don't know. Let's take it to Grandad Dog's garage. He can fix it. That's a good idea, Mummy Pig. <laughs> Grandad Dog runs the garage. He is very good at mending cars. <laughs> Oh dear, Daddy Pig. Your car does not sound very well. Can you fix it, please, Grandad Dog? Yes, but it will take all day. Oh! We 
wanted to go for a drive in our car. Don't worry. You can borrow this new car while I fix yours. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Grandad Dog. Would you like the roof down? Yes, please. I'll just press this red button. What a clever car. Wow. When you come back, I will have fixed your car. Thank you, Grandad Dog. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Peppa and her family like the new blue car. There's so many buttons in this new car. What does the green button do, Daddy? Let's see. Magic windows! <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, make the magic windows go down. <laughs> <laughs> what does the blue button do? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I love this new car. Can we keep it? No, we can't keep it, Pepper. We've only borrowed it for today. Oh? Oh, no. I think it's going to rain. Yes, I'll just put the roof up. Now, which is the button to close the roof? <laughs> Oops, silly me. Aha! This must be the button. Ah! The new car has squirted Daddy Pig with water. <laughs> silly Daddy, that's not the roof. This button. Oops, not that one. This button. Daddy Pig has forgotten which button closes the roof. I don't think this car likes me. Let's try the red button. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> but now it's stopped raining. Can we open the roof again? Uh, yes. Which button was it? The, the red, red one! one. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Grandad Dog has fixed the car. Your car is fixed. Hooray! Thank you, Grandad Dog. And keep the change. Thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Bye-bye. Ah, it's good to get our old car back again. I like the new car, but I like our old car better. And I think our old car likes us too, don't you? <laughs> Cleaning the car. <laughs> Daddy Pig is taking the family for a drive in the country. Come on. Is everybody ready? <laughs> ready. Yes, Daddy Pig, we're ready. But the car isn't ready. Look how messy it is. Oh, it's not too bad. You should see how messy it is inside. <laughs> <gasps> Naughty, messy Daddy. <laughs> Naughty, messy Daddy. <laughs> Look at all this rubbish. Newspapers. They're mine. Sweets. They're mine. Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Grrr. We must clean the car before we go for a drive. Oh, right you are, Mummy Pig. Mummy, can we help to clean the car? <laughs> yes, if you want to. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy Pig has some warm, soapy water to wash the car. <laughs> Daddy Pig is washing the roof. Mummy Pig is washing the bonnet. Pepper is washing the doors. George wants to wash the windows. But he is too little. <laughs> Poor George. Let me help you. <laughs> oh dear, George has dropped his sponge in a muddy puddle. Car all muddy again. <laughs> I will wash the mud off. Pepper, don't use the muddy water. 
Oh dear, Pepper has thrown the muddy water all over the car. Oh. <laughs> Never mind, we can use the garden hose to clean it off. Yes, yes. <laughs> can I hold the hose? <laughs> <laughs> Pepper holds the hose, and Daddy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? Ah! <laughs> ah! Pepper, stop! Sorry, Mummy. <laughs> Please turn off the water. Oh! <laughs> no need to panic. Oh dear, everyone is wet. <laughs> At least the car has been washed. We've all been washed. <laughs> <laughs> you go and dry yourselves while I polish the car. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Daddy Pig is polishing the car so well he can see his face in it. <laughs> what a funny face! <laughs> oh, more funny faces! <laughs> it's Pepper and George. <laughs> and Mummy Pig. What a lovely shiny car. Yes, I am a bit of an expert at these things. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'll drive today. Is everybody ready? Ready! Then let's go! I hope you will all keep this car clean today. Yes, Mummy Pig. Yes, Mummy Pig. Ah! <laughs> Mummy, now you've made the car all muddy again. <laughs> Naughty Mummy! <laughs> Naughty, messy Mummy! <laughs> Santa's Grotto! It is Christmas Eve! <laughs> Hands up, who wants to go and see Father Christmas? Me, me, me! <laughs> Are we going to the North Pole? Not quite that far, Peppa. But but Christmas lives at the North Pole. Lucky for us, he's got a grotto at the Christmas fair. Pepper and George have come to visit Santa's grotto. Hello, everyone. Hello. All aboard the elf train. This way to Santa's grotto. Susie, what are you asking Father Christmas for? I don't know. What are you asking for? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. I'll ask for that too. How does Father Christmas remember what toys everybody wants? He makes a list. His sleigh must be very fast to go around the whole world in one night. It's a super sleigh! Father Christmas is really old. He's hundreds of years old. Even older than my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Santa's Grotto! Ooh. Ho, ho, ho! Hello, everyone. Hello, Father Christmas. Have you all been good? Yes. Yeah. Have you all kept your bedrooms tidy? Yes! Have you? Oh, 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 of course. Now, come and tell me what you'd like for Christmas. Can I have a football, please? A xylophone. Tiddlywinks. A magic set, please. Racing car. <laughs> Bouncy ball. Boing, boing. A twain, please. A toy train. Not a Toy train? A real train. One I can drive with real passengers. Oh, ho, ho. I'll see what I can do. Is that everyone? We haven't seen you yet. I am sorry. What is your name? I'm Peppa Pig. We've met before. Ah, yes. Nice to see you again, Peppa. What would you like for Christmas? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. 
please. Um, the same for me, please. Very good. You do know where I live, don't you? Oh, yes. How old are you? Oh, I'm hundreds of years old. I told you. <laughs> Goodbye, Father <laughs> Christmas. Don't forget to leave me a mince pie and... And a drink. We know. And a carrot for the reindeer. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Peppa and her family are driving back from the Christmas fair. Daddy, why have we got our bags in the car? We're spending Christmas at Granny and Grandpa's house. But Father Christmas won't know where we are. Don't worry, Peppa. Father Christmas knows everything. Granny Pig, it's nearly Christmas. Yes, and I've got a very important job for you. Stir the Christmas pudding and make a wish. Pepper and George are making a wish. Racing car. Oh, don't tell me what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the mince pie and a drink for Father Christmas. And a carrot for the reindeer. <laughs> Who can that be at this time of night? We're not buying anything. Merry, joyful greetings, festive, happy cheer. Carol singers, snow is falling gently, Christmas time. Oh, Merry Christmas. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. This used to be my bedroom when I was a little piggy. Father Christmas knows where Granny and Grandpa live, doesn't he? Oh, yes. He's been here many times before. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Pepper and George have fallen asleep. When they wake up, it will be Christmas Day. Spiderweb! Daddy Pig is hard at work in the study. Daddy Pig, this study is a complete mess. It's not that bad. There are lots of cobwebs. I love cobwebs. They give the room character. Cobwebs mean spiders, and I don't like spiders. I do. Spiders catch flies, and flies are horrid. Well, as long as I don't have to see a spider. <coughs> ah! A spider! Hello, Mr Skinny Legs. <laughs> oh, where have you gone? Find it. I don't want it in the house. Everyone is looking for Mr Skinny Legs. Mr Skinny Legs is not in the filing cabinet. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not under the chair. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not on the table. Oh. I wonder where Mr. Skinny Legs is. Ah! Oh, ho, oh. ho. It sounds like Mummy has found him. Don't be scared, Mummy. Get rid of it. OK. We'll take Mr. Skinny Legs into the garden. <laughs> <laughs> now Mr Skinny Legs has got the whole garden to play in. Bye-bye, Mr Skinny Legs. It is starting to rain. <laughs> Mr Skinny Legs is running back to the house. Maybe he doesn't like the rain. He's climbing up the water spout. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was poor Incy out. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Mr. Skinny Legs in the house, Daddy Pig. Let's take Mr. Skinny Legs a bit further into the garden. There we are. A nice tree for you to live in. <laughs> what is he doing? He's making a web, Pepper. Spiders live in webs and use them to catch flies. Oh! He's very busy. Yes. It's hard work building a web. That's why you must never, ever break one. If you do, the spider has to do all the work again. Yes, Daddy. Bye-bye, <coughs> Mr Skinny Legs. It is bedtime. I liked watching Mr Skinny Legs make his web today. And tomorrow he'll make another web. Really? Yes. Mr Skinny Legs makes a new web every day. Where will the new web be, Daddy? 
I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Good night. Night, night. <laughs> it is morning. Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. I don't want to be late. I have an important meeting at the office. Daddy, you work very hard. Yes, I do. But not as hard as Mr Skinny Legs. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> everyone. See you tonight. Stop, Daddy. What is it? You cannot drive the car today. Why not? Look. <laughs> Mr Skinny Legs has built a web joining the car to the house. <laughs> Daddy. You said you must never, ever break a web. Did I? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. If you move the car, you will break the web. But how am I going to get to work? Don't worry, Daddy. You can borrow my little bicycle. Here you are. Thank you, Peppa. Daddy Pig is riding Peppa's little bicycle. Have a nice ride to work. I will, Peppa. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Daddy Pig works very hard. <sighs> but Mr. Skinny Legs works even harder. <laughs> <laughs>